hello guys welcome back to the channel before i start talking about the build let me make this clear this isn't uh, the best reaper build this isn't meta so if you're a meta slave you can skip this this is mostly a build for open world fun there are tons of reaper builds uh, on my channels you can check them out this is an aesthetic build for people who like the hp legion lifesteal gameplay and reaper is the best spec uh, for this now let's get to the video help me reach 5k subs please so everything about this build will heal you. Everything about this build will life steal. The skills, the auto attacks, and even the combo fields will life steal. Dark fields will make you life steal. For example, heal the nightfall, it's dark field. You see the leeching bolts? That's life steal. So don't forget about this. So let's talk about the gear. I went with full celestial gear. Uh, for people that doesn't know this, for uh, Celestial Gear means this type of gear that everything is equal. Kind of like a balance thing in every build. Mostly people run this type of gear in open world or world versus world because it's really strong there. You have um, every stat in the game in one gear. Anyway, I went with the full Celestial Gear with the Rune of the Eagle. Uh, I went with Rune of the Eagle because it have uh, the most uh, precision stats and that to raise my critical chance chance because uh, here you can see uh, relic of zakiros is um, is gonna convert our critical strike damage into healing and i want to proc it uh, more often and this is gonna be 70 percent with the fury buff so it's a decent amount it's not 100 percent but it's gonna proc our critical strikes uh, a lot as for weapons i run um, great sword with sigil of blood heal a foe's health upon landing a critical hit and sigil of restoration Gain health when interrupting a foe. Uh, these are two of the three life leech sigils we have in the game. I didn't run the third because it's weaker than these two. Uh, then uh, we have the dagger because it have the skill. It's a healing skill. And, and the sword on the offhand because on the sword we have a, a fear. And also it can heal us like both of these skills can heal as for why i chose the sword as a north hand instead of for example a warhorn because warhorn has a uh, some kind of life leech too and that fear is gonna activate our fury buff from uh, this uh, trait and also gonna give us quickness and we need the fury buff because uh, that's the only way to activate the relic of zacharas now let's go to the trait line spite this straight line gonna give us extra damage from this trait and also the buffs of fury and uh, the quickness from this trait but that's not the only reason we go this straight line i noticed they uh, reworked this trait here signet of suffering and uh, turned into a life leech uh, trait steal health and remove wounds from affected foes like that includes every signet so yeah every uh, signet we use is gonna life leech for us and this signet in particular i won't be using a lot maybe sometimes but it's gonna give us a power buff improves power the second trait line is blood magic it's focused around healing and life leech also this is the bread and butter of our build the blood bank trait this is gonna turn our excess healing into a barrier and this is gonna be a really good sustain for us and uh, since we're gonna be healing a lot it won't go to waste on the reaper uh, trait line the important ones are the soul eater the extra damage and uh, four percent uh, healing that means life steal it's the same uh, effect as the relic of zakiros and the uh, reaper's onslaught gonna give us weakness and ferocity uh, permanently when we are in shroud so that's our build i want to give an extra tip if you're using the daggers remember to use the third skill and bleed yourself before you use the healing skill the second one because if you're like you have bleeding on you it's gonna heal more so playing this build is pretty straightforward you won't have any problem with the open world mobs no matter how much they are you can see how much uh, barrier we're getting just from auto attacks and uh, by the way this bay will stay even when you're in shroud so that's a really big plus so aside from having leeching effect these skills actually have some decent uh, passive buffs. Reduce incoming condition damage. Movement speed increase. 
and the other one is uh, the power buff I just prefer using uh, Spectre Grasp to we'll pull mobs that are far away now let's try the build with tougher mobs Even if you're not uh, low on HP, uh, get that barrier up. It's okay to have uh, like a backup plan until the like the cooldown is down. You can see I don't have to worry about my HP ever. All I have to do is dodge a little bit and auto attack to life steal. And always make sure to use the fear from uh, your shroud and also from the sword. And by the way, this build is uh, really good too in group play because you're gonna be healed most of the time and your healing is gonna get turned to barrier. I say this build is really chill. You will be relaxed most of the time and you don't have to worry about your HP uh, dropping down. Not that you do when you're playing a Reaper, but it's more brain dead build. Also, you can do... Uh, Bounty solo if no one is around at 3 a.m. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed my simple lifesteal build, if you have any questions let me know in the comments. Like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to support me, and I'll see you guys next time, bye bye.